So today, the update is, it really isn't 10 or 15 years anymore. Conservative people like me would say, I'm really optimistic that your, that your current hip replacement could last 30 years, and there are some bold, audacious salesman-type surgeons who would say, 50 years. That's a long time. That's a lifetime for most of us. To this day, there really aren't any long-term studies that, that, that address the issue of, what if I play tennis? Will it wear out faster? What if I do triathlons? Will it wear out faster? Don't know. Probably not. So, so for 10 years, my patients have been free to uh, competitive tennis, competitive equestrian sports, water skiing. So, so today, even the conventional hip replacement is not very limiting and, and really is a, a, a great tool. If I were having one tomorrow, I would want the one that I just showed here. The goal, the, you know, the, the holy grail of orthopedics for the, the 40 years since Tron Charnley has been developing the permanent hip replacement. And you can see we're really close to that right now. But permanence and longevity and durability of a hip replacement is really dependent on multiple components, much like buying a car. If you bought a Lexus today or a Cadillac, could it last your lifetime? Well, yeah, you really could if you're not a crazy driver and if your car mechanic is pretty good and if the car was pretty well designed, yeah, and if you're lucky and if you don't get into a crash or somebody doesn't crash into you, a car could last forever and today's hip replacements really possibly could last forever too.